Hello folks, um, Magoo Sports News is back. Sorry for not having a show on Monday. Basically, the weather in the country I'm living in has just gotten really, really hot and I wasn't feeling so good. Basically, just couldn't handle the heat, so I decided not to bother. Anyway, I've got a good show coming up today, so just watch and see what you think. So folks, I'm going to have to recap a lot of sport of what's been going on. I'll go through the headlines first and foremost. Um, basically, Arsenal have had a terrible start to their season. They lost to Liverpool 2-0. Uh, both Manchester's won comfortably last weekend, so they're top of the table. Um, Wolves also have a 100% record, so they're doing pretty well as well. Uh, in the Champions League, and Arsenal did manage to qualify for the group stage, so they beat Udinese away, uh, so fair play to them. In the Europa League, and it's terrible news for Scotland, none of the Scottish teams went through for the first time since I think ninth, first time since the inception of European competition. Um, really bad for them. All English teams went through, so not too bad there. In the SPL and the ICT, it's just getting going from bad to worse for us. Uh, we lost to Aberdeen 2 0 at the weekend. We then lost in the League Cup to Air 1 0. And now Tom Aldred, who was a sort of young future prospect for football as a defender, has left the club. He seemed to get a little bit annoyed when he had to play in a North of Scotland Cup game. Well, to be fair, Terry Butcher, if you're going to play these guys who are aspiring to play in the Championship, etc., you play him against Wick or whoever it was he played against, then of course he's going to bugger off. Anyway, into the Super League, and last weekend, Castleford had a great win against Wakefield. They really needed to win that game. Bad news was, though, both Hull teams won as well to keep up the pressure. So realistically, Castleford need to win one of their last two games to qualify for the playoffs. In the cricket, and England won the fourth test. Really good result. They, they basically had the rain on the first day, so they had to really go for it in the last few days, and they won. In the tennis, Andy Murray won the Cincinnati Masters. Really good result as he beat Novak Djokovic. To be fair, Djokovic was injured, so it isn't a real sort of... Uh, gauge on how Andy Murray's playing. So he's got the US Open coming up next week, should be good. And in the golf, Oliver Wilson, young lad, young English lad, 22 years old, won the Czech Open. This guy's a really good prospect for the future, so watch out for him. And that's really all the sport I'll go through at the moment. Hope you enjoyed it. So what have we got coming up this weekend, folks? The same as always, football, rugby league, rugby union, we've got Formula One, golf, and fantasy football. So, in the football, Liverpool play Bolton. That's on half past five ESPN on Saturday. Tottenham Man City should be a great game. That's on half past one on Sunday. And then the big one, Manchester United Arsenal. Can Arsenal turn their season around? I don't think they'll do it Old Trafford. That's on at four o'clock on Sunday. In the Rugby League, it's the Challenge Cup final. Super League gets a weekend off. It's Leeds versus Wigan, Saturday, half past two. In the Rugby Union, some big games, the last Tri-Nations games. New Zealand will win it if they beat Australia, it's the Bledisloe Cup, Cup as well, although New Zealand have already won that if you know what I mean. That's on Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning. Ireland play England in a World Cup warm-up game. This is no friendly, God trust me, there is never a friendly when Ireland play England. It's in Ireland as well, Saturday, half past two, it's on BBC, that's going to be a beauty. Formula One's back after a little break. Belgian Grand Prix, one o'clock Sunday. I think in the uh, practice, Michael Schumacher's doing well, so watch out for that. Golf, European Tour, and it's a big weekend, the Johnny Walker Classic at Glen Eagles in Scotland. Good to have another golf tournament in Scotland. The other one was obviously in Venice. And in the US PGA, the FedEx Cup, which has a $10 million prize money. That starts, it's a four tournament sort of event. The first one is this weekend, so you wanna get off to a good start to get high up into the table. Um, and that's all the sport we've got coming up this weekend, so watch out for it. So folks, fantasy football, not a great week last weekend from the Goose Sports News. The reluctant 11, who I'm assuming is not as so reluctant now, uh, did, had a great week. Barb, or should I say, uh, the top block, they had the top point scorers. Tables here, and uh, looking good. Bit of, a bit of a space opening up between the top three, but uh, that can all change in literally a blink of an eye. So get your teams in for this weekend, folk. 
get your teams, uh, your your um, your changes saved. Uh, any advice for this week from the Goose Sports News? Hmm. Maybe Emmanuel Bandebayor for Spurs. Watch out. So a few comments uh, comes from Boom, and he says, "What about Terry Butcher saying that the defeat against Aberdeen wasn't too bad?" It's a disgrace. Terry Butcher, I think, I, I said a couple of weeks ago I was fully for him staying in the job. I'm starting to change my mind. I don't know. Maybe he's pushing the players too hard. Tom Aldred's left. We've lost pretty much every single game. We've drawn once. Um, if we don't beat Kilmarnock at home this weekend, I honestly think questions will be starting to get asked about Terry Butcher's position. So folks, that's everything for this week. Uh, I'm trying to keep my show as short as possible, but there's so much sport to talk about, it's very difficult. Um, anyway, hopefully it's short enough for those guys that were complaining. Uh, and uh, enjoy your weekend. See you guys. I'll definitely have a show this Monday, so uh, and see you then.